They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we're on YouTube, One Word Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's click, uh, ch uh, channel and our TikTok channel. So if you want to uh, click on the link, it'll take you directly to our page. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout the video. Don't forget to like subscribe and ring your notification bell and of course leave us a comment if you want us to discuss anything in particular on the videos that we make um guys again thank you for joining us at the tabletop let's jump right into it i want to first start off with saying thank you guys on tiktok especially oh yeah we finally hit 1000 followers okay <laughs> So now we're able to, yeah, I know, right? I know, right? So now we're able to officially, we're able to officially add our YouTube link oh, onto onto our page, and of course we can go live, um, if we were to ever like just do like a behind the scenes or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, but That's really, true. yeah, yeah. But yeah. really, guys, thank you for for literally going on this journey with us for the support, yep, for yep, the views, yep, for the likes, for, for sure, the shares, for sure. And of course, again. If it wasn't for Vic helping us out with that, then thank you, Vic. Have, yeah, because editing and all that shit like that. You too. are a part of this. Thank yes, you. yes. Thank you. It takes you. a lot of fucking time. So mm -hmm. I really appreciate you guys for supporting us, and of course, like I said, always listening to our crazy asses every single Tuesdays mm -hmm. and Thursdays. Oh yeah. And of course, if you want to see our facial expressions on our um, on what we talk about on Wednesdays and Fridays, is when we release our videos. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to thank you guys for for uh, going with us on that journey, and yeah, it's 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 amazing. It's it it is, bro. Slow and steady wins the race, but like I said, it, we're we're going at the right pace, and I love it. So we are where we need to be. Yes, exactly. Yeah, we just gotta keep reminding ourselves that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy to get ahead. Yeah, yeah it is. It is. All right. So, we're doing good. Yeah. We're doing good. That's facts. All right, man. So. uh how you been, man? What, what, what? No, that's what I got to ask you. You're the one that was <laughs> tutting it. <laughs> like, oh, bro. When I, I go. Nah, bro. I don't know what's going on. I've just been waking up stupid early. Yeah, because like, it, it's it's 11.06. No, 10.06 right now. Yeah. No, like, no 11.06. 11.06. It's 11.06 yeah. right now, so we're, we're doing late recording. It's my fault. I was working late, so. How is that your fault? Because I was working late, so... so that's your fault for having to go to work <laughs> late, you know? <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, because I never usually close on Thursdays. Right. So it's like a Thursday in a, in a, in a, in a minute that I close. I, mean, I usually open. So, but we're doing a late recording right now, and I kind of came home to him sleeping, so... <laughs> oh, I was tired. It was supposed to be a nap. That shit was crazy. Yeah, it was. It was well, you got to understand, because, like, what, what happened the night before nothing really right no nah, we we went to see <coughs> our the um, mario brothers the mario brothers movie super mario brothers movie with uh skylar and his wife Brittany. um man which, which was amazing which was amazing, which was amazing. Dude. and then oh course, my gosh of course man. we got some some food but then we came home and and did it i mean you went to sleep right after i did so it's like it was one o'clock was it? No, nah, it wasn't one. Twelve? No, we got home early. It was like we around nine. Early, yeah. Yeah. And then you went to bed around like ten. Ten and eleven. But and that and that's like the effect of me just waking up early as hell now. Which is weird. I don't know why that started happening. I think that ha that started about you know what I think it is? I stopped vaping. <laughs> that's what it is like i don't i don't feel like like sluggish or groggy or anything like that because you know i would literally like like rip a huge oil pin or some shit like that yeah 
and then I don't know. And then I guess it would just affect my sleep. And then I would just sleep in. And it would be hard for me to wake up the next day. But, like, now, I'm waking up two to three hours earlier. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that, man. Nah, dude. Like, that's all you need. No, nah, but that sucks. Like, I like the feeling of sleeping. Not anymore. That's terrible. You're evolving, sir. Nah, it gives me more time for yeah. responsibility. Exactly. <laughs> So we can move forward. Shit. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, man. But uh, speaking of the Mario movie, man, dude, that that surpassed my expectation. It was a huge. This see, and this is why we need when in, in the future we need to stop going and thinking that movies are gonna suck or movies are well, gonna be successful. <coughs> my thing with that was it was like the same essence I had with like Sonic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't go in to hate the movie. Like, even though we joked about it, like, with the whole voice acting, I was like, the voice acting is only, like, what well, wasn't It was how he looked. No, no, no. I meant, like, well, yeah, okay. I didn't have an issue with the voice acting. Right. What's Sonic well, supposed to sound like? No, 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 not Sonic. I meant, like, Mario. And this is in reference to Mario. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but he, they joked about why they didn't. But they are Italian, and of course their parents had the Italian accent, but they did not because of right. course they grew up, and of course they're in Brooklyn, New York. Right. So you know what I'm saying so their Brooklyn like, accent kept coming out. That was fire. That was fire, though. That was fire. That was. It was like, and and I like how they kind of they didn't try to cram the entire Mario verse. No. It didn't into, feel rushed. It didn't feel rushed. They didn't try to cram every single character slash Easter egg. It was like, I feel like they were going by like eras of, and, of Mario. Yes, and for people who grew up with Donkey Kong and Mario, they understood the references in every scene. That And that's really as far as they, as went, they went with yeah. like the characters. So yeah. it's like Mario, Donkey Kong. Yeah. That's the introduction of Mario that you need. Mm-hmm. Because their stories are intertwined, of course, with the original Donkey Kong game. Yep. That's when Mario was first introduced. Yep. In the original Donkey Kong game. So, it's like, you couldn't have a Mario movie without Donkey, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong, exactly. You know, so, I really like that. They, um, but, Skyler did make a good point. The, like, the voice acting didn't, wasn't, like, it wasn't my cup of tea for the characters. Mm -hmm. I felt like, except for Jack Black. Yes, oh. as Bowser, that was amazing, bro. He was he was he stole insane. the show. That was amazing, that man bro. Stole Bowser the show. was awesome, bro. Yeah, and of course they use technology to make his voice sound like that because that's not how Jack Blackberry sounds. But you can tell it was him with how he was singing and all that stuff like that. So he, what was the last like movie he's been in besides Panda? Jumanji. You you're talking about animated? Right. Uh, the Panda was the last movie. That really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Other than that, he recently popped up on Jumanji. He, he's been on hiatus. That's for, what blows my mind about Jack Black. Like his vocal range. No, 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 no. Like his presence in film and movies. It changes the scene. Like even when he was in King Kong, that movie that came out in uh, 2012. Oh, the one that was four. that one 2012. No? Oh, no. That was five. Oh, six, oh, oh, 05, oh, 06. Yeah, the one that was three hours uh -huh. long. The first three or four hour long movie ever where mm -hmm. I kept falling asleep. That was crazy. That was crazy. How, what, what did you feel about that King Kong movie? I liked it. I loved it. Because it, it, was, uh, it wasn't a mutated gorilla. It was an actual gorilla that was huge. That was just a big ass. Gorilla. Big ass actual silverback gorilla 100%. And I I I I don't know that movie just <laughs> bless you. Thank you. And like, the way and the way Kong acted in the film was like a gorilla, and you can see it through the, his emotions. Right. You see what I'm saying? So. Oh right, 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 yeah. right. Because he didn't talk. But man, that movie was so long, bro. That movie were they? Did they also go to Skull Island in yes. that movie? So Skull Island is the uh, the whole premise of of. Kong and shit, and of course he always it, it fights the T Rex and all that, and blah blah blah. Yes, but like for me that movie was just way too long. 
for the part that I wanted to see. It's like Titanic. It's like we all know why we're coming to watch this. <laughs> we want to see that ship sink. We all know why we went to watch Kong to see him fall off the building. Yeah, to see him fall off the building. You know what I'm saying? I hear what you're saying. But yeah, like in terms of Jack Black really being in like blockbuster movies, it's rare. Like, well, you you know how who said this? Somebody. Um, that picks and choose what movie they want to be in. Right. Uh, Denzel. I think it was Denzel. Mm -hmm. Denzel's like, now nah, I'm at a point. Denzel and um, Samuel L. Jackson are like, I'm at a point where I can just pick and choose what movie I want to be in. I don't just do a movie because they tell me that they want me in it. But what years was Jack Black <laughs> active, though? In the early 2000s, when, when, when he came out with School, School, Schoolhouse Rock, not Schoolhouse Rock, School Rock? School. School of Rock. School of Rock was literally the first time I actually recognized Jack Black, and then Shallow How after that. So I started recognizing Jack Black um, in, in like movies like that. And, of course, Panda's what put him on the map right, right, for all the right. young kids and, of course, people who didn't really know him. But before that, like it, it, was, it was so funny to me in, in Shallow How. Like, he was fat, but he didn't want to date fat women. So, that crazy. so they put a curse. So they put a curse on him to see all fat women as skinny women. Really, that was him. Yes, that was it. Why do I feel like I was like a Rob Schneider type bullshit, bro? Ah, uh, because I think at the time they were like there was a Rob Schneider movie like that. The there was an animal, and then there's a one where he switched bodies with a woman. <laughs> hey, that remember that one? No, 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 he didn't. He switched brains. Yes, there you go. Switch brain. <laughs> brains or soul or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> he switched brains with a woman. I remember that. That was funny as hell. So, <laughs> And they always had that same motherfucker. <laughs> what did mean? No, what did it say? Cut these freaking balls off or some You hair. can do you it. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> He would say, you can do it. Captain. It was either him or Adam Sandler. They or, would always... Or, or the... <laughs> Bruh, and they would star in each other's movies. That was hilarious, man. That whole... Because uh, uh, they were best friends in real life. That's the thing. They were all best friends right. in real life. That's how come Chris Rock, um, Adam funny. Sandler's, Rob Schneider... All, all of them. That's how every time they were all, every, always in the movie together. Always. Oh man, that yeah. was way too funny. Yeah, that was a good that time. was way too funny. That was a different time. But go ahead and uh, to spin it back to Jack Black. But uh, yeah, like, um, I really liked his role in the movie. I felt like he was really like the movie. He was. He stole he was, the show. Yeah, he was really he the movie. He stole the show. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't recognize any other character besides him. Because he was literally, since he was the main villain that they were mm -hmm. focused on, I, I believe he stole the show. But I like how, how earlier how I said they didn't try to cram everything, mm -hmm. but they kind of hinted at, oh yeah, it's about to get big. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? And the fact that, and the fact that, even in the real world with like, uh, Epic Universe, they now have a Nintendo Land. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're really going to invest in this IP. Oh, um, I believe, um, not to be off topic, but just remember what you're talking about. I just got a news news thing on my phone saying they are shutting down Harry Potter. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Because everything is moving to... Epic, yeah, Epic Universe. Epic Universe. Yeah, it, it's so essentially getting they're gonna, own... Yeah, so essentially they're just going to get rid of Universal Studios and just focus on Epic Universe. That will be the new thing. Oh, so the whole Universal. Islands of Adventure. No, Universal Studios. Remember, there's Universal. Right, and, and the Islands, Islands of Adventure. So they're probably going to keep Islands of Adventure open. Because or just expand Islands of Adventure with new rides Never, and stuff. Yeah. Th that's still your property. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of yeah, course. you can't just. You got Dr. Seuss. You got the, right, the Marvel, right. Marvel Studios still there. All that stuff like that. Right, so. you can't just like, yeah, let's not use this land or whatever. Like, I don't know. I don't know. They could do something with it. Just make like an entire or island. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. But go ahead. But uh, yeah, like they're investing so much in the Nintendo IP. So yeah, and now that this movie is successful, they even Nintendo also, Cinematic Universe. Yep. And now Link. Everyone's the talking NCU. about 
it, people uh, I was even getting surveys on YouTube talking about what movie would you like to see next and 59% people Zelda yep Legends. nah that's gonna have to be like a fucking trilogy, quadrilogy. Oh my yep. gosh, bro. On some <laughs> Hobbit type shit, bro. On some... They're probably going to focus on Breath of the Wind. Wild. Wild. Yeah, yeah. man. That's going to be crazy. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. And then they can introduce... Like... And then because the second game's coming out pretty soon, so that they're going to have another catalyst to go with it. So, again, don't put too much. Introduce Link. Introduce... How far you think you think they'll include, like, Skyward... Uh, None of that because they want to focus on the original story. So, Ocarina time. Yes. Okay. So they'll probably go go back to the original games, focus on that just like they did with the Mario. So they'll probably do that with all of them just so they can keep it grounded, and then they'll. But but the thing with <laughs> Mario, it's like things that existed out of the original storyline, like your your twist Mario games, like. Mario Odyssey or yeah. Super Mario 3D Land that had nothing to do with the original story. It was just like a new take, like a new dimension on, on, the, story. on the story. So they included <laughs> elements of that. You know what I'm saying? They sprinkled it, though. They, they sprinkled it. Right, they, right, right. Yeah, it wasn't heavy. So right. it's like all the young kids that did go see the movie, they're like, oh, this was from... The, I get that the from Mario, the new games. Yeah. But the adults were like... I get everything. Everything. Exactly. Right, right. Exactly. Including the original Mario voice. Yahoo! Yeah. He Woo! just kept repeating it that the entire was awesome. game. <laughs> and then every time every time Mario would do something crazy in slow mo, it would be like, It's a me. It's a me. <laughs> oh man. What the hell? Yep, that what was the joke. hell? That was awesome. Yeah, that was a joke. That was awesome. But we can't reveal too much, you know. No, no, it just but, came uh, out, yeah. Literally right after uh, we got home, I'm checking the group chat, and the boys are like, hey, guys, we should go see Mario Friday. I was like, <laughs> too late, I already went. Too so late. I, too late. Too late, I already went, so. That's facts. And I could have probably went after work, but. You weren't feeling it. Nah, motherfucker, I'm tired. I want to go home and do nothing. No. But you know what I'm saying? That that's that's pretty much my take on, you know, how I feel about the Mario movie. It was it was surprisingly good. Yes. It yeah. was surprisingly good. That was a good. that was an unexpected gem. Yeah. Surprisingly good. Um but I don't know, like I'm 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 excited to see where this goes. Like if they really do a whole Nintendo cinematic universe. Which I think they are, because Illuminations just, That'd be amazing. Yeah, they're dude. blowing it out of the box office, so that now Illuminations Pictures is gonna be like, all right. Because like my brain is just like, wow, the possibilities. And you even brought up the idea, they could do like a Super Smash Brothers. Yes. You know, like just to tie it all in. Mm -hmm. Like, of course they have separate universe movies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like, the end all be all would be like something sucks them all in. Yeah. And again, like I said, they have so much IP. Oh, you got God. Star Fox. You got Kirby. You have Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus. You literally have Zelda. Link. You mm -hmm. have uh, Mario. You have War Luigi. You have um, you have a, a lot of people. Everything. Oh, you have Metro Prime. You see, that's what I'm saying. How do you include Metro? Yeah, because they said the galaxy is really big. What shocked me, was it ten years ago, was when I found out Metro Prime was a female. Oh, Samus? Yes. I thought I thought I thought uh that was a dude under the suit the whole under time. The suit. Because they never showed they never showed the face. I feel that. When did they really like originally release that? Like I think they did that with Super Smash Brothers Melee. I think that was the first time they really like No, 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 no. I think it was the Metroid that came out on GameCube. I think I forgot that that ins the name of that installment, um, like where they kind of re revealed that Samus. When was Samus? So the first release date of Metro Prime was November eighteenth, twenty twenty. Oh, two thousand. Oh no, Samus's gender is revealed at the end of the original Metro Prime, which was in two thousand two. No, nineteen eighty six. Why does it say? But her iteration was completely different. She was like a redhead chick in a bikini and boots and cowboy. Oh yeah, and then she just 
and cowboy boots. <laughs> Misogyny. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, shit. They really did her dirty like that. That's crazy. The first 3D game was released in 2002, but her original date, like you said, was in 1980 something. 1986. 1986. Ah. And they re they brought her back in 2002. But this time in a full body armored suit. Damn, Kirby, a Kirby movie? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Illuminations just literally opened the door. They just oh. created an entire... Because remember, the Despicable Me created its own universe. Now it's... now that So are they going to leave Illumination in charge of... Yes. All, all of, of it. Just like Pixar's is in charge of all their movies and Disney's in charge of all their movies, they're going to leave Illuminations in charge but, yeah, I yep. Guess. They can do it. Yeah, that's true. And there, I guarantee you, there's multiple teams. It's not just one group that focuses. You think on. this will allow Illumination Studios to like? Yes. Wow. They will flourish. Man, that's like, awesome. Like I said, the only bad movie I did not like was the um, the Secret Life of Pets two. The first one was amazing. The second one was none of those ever interested me. Dog shit, boring. I don't know something about. Hearing Kevin Hart voice act an animated character it aggravates me. Including Super Super Pets? Yep. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, like, I have nothing against Kevin Hart. Is it because he sounds different? No, it's just... It's weird, man. Like, if you're live acting, like, fine. Uh -huh. like, I have no issue watching Kevin Hart on screen as himself or, like, visually as himself. But, like, when he voice acts, I don't know. It bugs me. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. It's just, like, I don't want to sit down and listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, like that, bro. I don't know. That's as cut and dry as I can yeah, put it. Like, I, I, I really just... I got you, man. I mean, sometimes, like you said, it was, sometimes it works for some and sometimes it doesn't. Right. At all. Sometimes, some people are good at it. Some people are not. It's like um, across the Spider-Verse, if the... If the the guy that played Miles Morales, or even the Peter Parker, um, that had the kid, some people might not like that voice, but it works. You know what I'm saying? What uh, with uh, the Into the Spider Verse? Yes. Wait, which Peter Parker? Across the Spider Verse, the one that got accidentally uh, the teleported. The blonde one? The no, the brown hair one. The brown hair. The one. original. The OG. Yeah, the OG one. one. Man, when when does Across the Spider Verse drop? Uh, June 10th or June 2nd. Damn. Really? Oh, so these are all summer movies that... June 2nd. Mm. June 2nd. So now that, now that it did so well, people are literally... Like I said, Illumination is just... They're like, all right that was a catalyst if it failed we were not going to continue it but if it was successful it's like the how universe was trying to start the monster universe without officially knowing if it was going to be successful or not like, like the whole monarch kaiju he, shit no the monster universe um oh frankenstein dracula yes yes and it failed universal failed because they already because they tried to do the mummy as well they pre-planned all these movies and they, they didn't even know if it was going to be successful or not i think they w did it way too early they did it Cause when did they? When did Tom Cruise try to remake the Mummy or some shit like that? That was a while back, bro. That's so bad. Cause I remember that. And then they tried to do Wolfman or some shit like that. That even? Uh, no, they did Dracula. Dracula. But Wolfman was slated, but it never panned out. It never panned out. Yeah, it failed. Uh, 2017 was the Mummy. It was the Mummy? I remember yeah. that. That was weird. It was. It just failed. It was lackluster though. Cause you could tell they didn't really invest any. No, they didn't, and I thought it was going to be the 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 female that was going to be the mummy, but she turned up being evil, and then he took over, which was lame. I didn't like that. That was just the dumbest thing I ever heard. I she could have been, she could have turned good and joined the team, but the motherfuckers just like, oh no, Tom Cruise will be the mummy. I would have been fine if they just reskinned the original. They you know what I'm saying? That. Yeah, I would have been fine if they just reskinned the original, like Emotep. Emotep. Yep, they should have just done that. Emotep. And they have Dwayne come back as a Scorpion King. <laughs> but he looks better. The CGI is better this time. 
Oh man, that was crazy, man. Yep. That was crazy. The Scorpion King. Yep. That was that was a thing, man. That was a thing. Are you looking forward to um to jump into the next topic? Because are you looking forward to summer? Because I know that uh, we're finally got we're getting rain early actually. Yeah, summer. What's there to do this summer? Wake me up when September ends. Because you know I'm more like, I kind of take it as like. As is? Right. Like, if I want to do something, I'll just be like, okay, let's go do this. Like, yeah, I'll give you an advance, but it's because mm-hmm. I just thought of it on the spot and just be like, hey, let's go do this. Yeah. You know? So, whatever ends up coming up, we'll definitely go do it. I got you, man. That'll um, but. So what did you end up doing today that got you so tired, exhausted? I woke up early. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed that you, you got a piece. Yeah, I went out today, um, bought some uh, canvas art and stuff like that just to kind of decorate and whatnot. Uh, what else did I do? That is huge. What else did I do? What else did I do? Damn, you didn't do nothing else? Oh, went and got some new shoes. Um, went to Walmart because I had to replace some ink cartridges. And uh, I realized that I needed my ID to fucking trade in some ink when I already had the receipt. But then I realized I left my ID in your car. Damn. So it was like, that kind of sucks. So I risked it all for nothing. For nothing. I could have got a ticket. No, nah, but I drove safe. <laughs> I drove real safe today, bro. What the fuck? Oh, my God. I drove like an old man today. But that was pretty much me uh, the whole day. Um, mm-hmm. Just kind of cruised around downtown. and just, Oh, really? Checking out the sites? Yeah. It, just, it was whatever. Because you haven't been out there in a while? Yeah, I just spent some extra time. I'm, I'm, I, I really hate that the area that they're fixing... Uh, colonial, yeah. The exit and on ramp with all that. That, that yeah. really it's a waste. Thing. Yeah, it's a waste. Cause um, every time, <clears throat> um, when I would take mom to Sam's so she can bulk, um stock up on some things, I literally told her adding more roads is not going to help anybody. Mm-mm. We uh, we had six lane road, three on one side, three on the other, and you still had traffic back up. You're going to add two more lanes, and you think that's going to change the outcome? No, it's going to make it even fucking bring worse. more traffic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> adding four more lanes, adding eight lanes is not going to help. And I See, the only thing I think that would actually help is on Six Mile, it's a two-lane road. And it, it, it always gets backed up. I think they're turning into three, and then they're going to pull the road back so more people can go in. Because when you turn on to Six Mile, it's a three-lane road. and then at So everywhere is just going to be log jam. Exactly. It. So it, it's like it, it. it doesn't matter like w- what direction you take or where you go. Because you open the roads up, more people are going to use them. Yeah. And now you're back to square one. Exactly. So it's like you're not solving the issue. You know. <clears throat> it was like the same example we used with 82. It was like first time they finished building it. Boy, you were flying through yeah, that thing. Yeah, it, it was consistent flow. It traffic. was consistent. Then they flow. changed the light. Then right. they changed the light. They changed the timer of the light. And they fucked everything up. They fucked everything up, dude. That's crazy. That's crazy. No, it's like a stop and then a go. Mm-hmm. Instead of a just a go go. And like even if you make that first light, you could end up getting the second light. Yep. And it's like, what the fuck? I thought they both correlated. They did. Yeah, they used to both turn green at, at the, the same, same time. time. And now it's like, no, the first one turns green. And then you pull into the second turn. Mm-hmm. And then that one turns green and it immediately lets like four or five cars by. And yeah. then you're stuck. And it's just like, this is dumb. Yeah. So. This is dummy. But uh, it was pretty solid. I liked today. Today was chill. I kind of wanted more rain. Um, so you can sleep in. So you can get your good night. Yeah, hibernation. Night. Nap, nap. <laughs> <laughs> your good nighty night, nap, nap. <laughs> oh, man, bruh. I had to, man. I was, I don't know. It just hit me like a ton of bricks. Yeah. 
it just hit me like a ton of bricks because I was uh, doing editing mm -hmm. and timestamps, and then mom came over so she could fill uh, fulfill one of her orders mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And now I'm just kind of sitting down, and it just hit me, dude. Like, I don't know what happened. You know how, like... Fell asleep on the chair. Yeah, it just... What you did. Yeah. <laughs> like, what you did. Yep. Like, I was just like... And then I blacked out. I'm like, what? And then I opened my eyes. I'm like, when the fuck did I fall asleep? So I was like, all right. Let me, let me pack it up. I was like, I know we're recording a little bit late today. So let me, let me take a power nap. Mm -hmm. And it was more than a power nap. Boy, I was full dead ass asleep. I was like, I was ready to just say fuck it, right? No, but it's awesome, dude. Because I know yesterday that um, what was it? it was yesterday, right? Yesterday mm -hmm. was Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yesterday we were we signed up for Home Chef. Oh yeah, oh, that yeah. uh weekly. I I honestly think that's a way. That's a smarter investment in meal planning or in, meal prep. In the long run, yeah. In the long run. Um, what was it? It was like... We're not trying to get a sponsor, by the way. Oh, no, nah, motherfucker. What the <laughs> fuck? I'm just trying to save money on food. Yeah. Because you know $100, I mean... We go to Sam's and $100 is like absolutely nothing. nothing. Nothing, dude. You can't get shit with a hundred dollars. And it's even worse when you go to the regular grocery store. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? You can't get shit with a hundred dollars. You can't buy do. shit with a hundred dollars, and you can't buy healthy shit with a hundred dollars. Right. Literally. So. But with this, it's a week's worth of food, seventy-five dollars a week. Yep. That's not bad. No, that's not. Seventy-five dollars a week. Yep. And you get. All meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, in between. And you can choose, and you can choose if you want a calorie deficit, a carb deficit, or if you're a vegetarian. Those are pescatarian, your vegetarian, keto, yep, all, all that, that stuff. Shit. And then after that, they'll all that fancy schmancy jazz. You know what I'm saying? Free plan your meal. So if you are on a diet or trying to lose weight, this is really going to help you. Like that could become a well. I, I actually believe in that whole structure of yeah, it's another subscription bullshit you got to pay for, but. The way food's going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Unless something drastic or major happens. Then that is the way. You're going to be wasting more money, you know, on food. Yeah. Like, yeah. all right, I get it. You could buy a big-ass bag of rice and some dry beans, but come when on, you, When are you going to actually have time to make any of that? Come on, bro. You think these fucking millennials and Zs know how to be doing that shit? No. Nah, come they, on, bro. They want it pre-ready and ready. Come on, man. And ready to go. Remember, I had to show one of my friends, I'm not going to say who, I had to show them how to make rice. I had to show them motherfuckers how to make rice, bro. Damn. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. That's like I'm nowadays when you're watching videos on YouTube or um, TikTok and you're like, I can learn how to cook. Damn. But even their version... Even our generation and uh, Gen Z's version of cooking is using pre-prepped food. It's food and just heating it up. Heating it up like or I just get, combining ingredients. I can get Uncle Ben's ready rice put in the microwave. Right. I can get uh, ste steamed chicken that's already some done. Some canned beans yep. or some shit I like that. I can get canned beans. But like actually buying dry beans, soaking them overnight. Yeah. Getting them soft so Spices. you can prep them. Yep. You know, to boil them. Cutting the fat off the chicken. Cutting the fat off the chicken. It. Cleaning it. it. You know, seasoning it. Putting yep. acid and, and, and lime juice on it and da-da-da. Boiling the water uh, for the rice. Right. Put, put Frying it. the oil. Sautéing the oil with a, a, a garlic clove or or a, a scallion or, or, or green onion or green something onion, like that. Yeah. Green onion. Getting that seasoning. Put the water and put the salt. Water level to however much you're going to be cooking. Uh, you can wash the rice. You could like wash the mm -hmm. rice because you also have mites in yep. the rice. And, and that's, why, that's why mom washed the rice. Wash the we rice. Those, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You pour it in the pot. The rule is it should be at least one uh, finger segment of water above the rice. Mm -hmm. And then you put it on medium heat because you have to wait for the water to boil. Mm -hmm. So once the water starts boiling, then you put your rice. Like I said, one finger segment, one finger segment, one finger segment, deep 
above the rice. And then you put it on medium heat, close the top, let it cook for about like 10, 15 minutes. And then once the water starts kind of uh, lowering and evaporating, put all the way on low and choke it. Yep. And that's it. And that's it. You got your Put rice. Another 10, the motherfuckers minutes. will boil that shit on high all the way through. Yep. And have some crunchy ass. It's either rice. too crunchy or they put too much water they in it. It's much, like, and it's like paste. Paste soupy. <laughs> Bruh, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of cooking. So I'm that's why about. all these companies are banking on these pre prepped pre meals because all you have to do is. Right. And they're healthy too. It's not mm -hmm. like it's garbage meals. It's literally healthy meals that'll help you right. depending on your lifestyle and or your diet so mm -hmm. and you can choose from one meal a week to seven meals a week and of course you have uh, or six meals a week and of course you have the option of skipping a week if you don't like what they're going to send you that's right so i mean that's, yeah that's true yeah you could or if you're like broke but yeah that's not you know what yeah. i'm saying like let's say you know because they charge you a week Five, five days, days in before advance before you get your delivery. You get your delivery. And they'll let you know. Like They'll show you when you log into your account. Mm -hmm. But it's like, what I liked was it was flexible. So, like, if you're running, if your cash is running thin, you could just be like, okay, I don't want a meal this week. And they won't charge you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll just eat ramen for that week until you get paid. And then you could go back on to the, the meal plan or whatever. Yeah. But I like it. It's super flexible. Plus, I, we won't be... Constantly trying to think about what to what to eat, eat what to make, or buy garbage or anything right. like that. So we're right. constantly eating something healthy, so that'll help us lose weight. Because again, two thirds of what you eat is is how you lose right. most of the weight. And the thing is, it just saves time. It does because it just saves so yeah, much. Yeah, because all the meals are what like uh, 10, 15 minute preps. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, 10, 15 minutes. So prep. and and so it'll be interesting. It's gonna be fun. Um, again, like we always say, we got a lot of crazy plans coming up. Um, it'd be, be we, nice to reveal them, but we're uh, yeah, we restructured our everything, every day, <laughs> business plan. Yes, everything. The so model. I'm everything. very happy with with what we did in our famous book. But uh, <laughs> the note, the notebook, the notebook, the handy dandy. Notebook. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. So you looking forward to anything anytime soon, man? Um, damn. Well, I know that um, for the first time next week, I'm going to the store that I'm originally supposed to be working at. Your home store. The home store. But it's only for three days because then after that, there's something Aww, that sucks. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Um, what the heck? No, but other than that, like I said, uh, every every interaction is some is uh, something new, so that'll be interesting. But no, I'm really interested in the interviews that that that's coming up. That's coming up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yep, we got Trey coming in on Trey, Tuesday. Another famous artist. Yeah, he's an artist, a Christian artist. Yeah, so, um, that, so that's going to be very interesting. That's gonna of be course, interesting. we got Vic on Thursday. Vic, yeah. part part three, right? Part three. No, 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 no. no. No, no, by himself. I, I, okay, okay. Yeah, you I don't count with, 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 with people. With no. People. Okay, 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 by okay. yourself, that's Part what we call three. Yeah, yeah, the trifecta. Yeah. Yo, the trinity. <laughs> the trinity. <laughs> whoa, 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 that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. So next week, we got two interviews lined up. Yeah. I think you'll like both of them. I think you'll definitely like Trey. Yeah. Um, He just recently dropped a album, I believe. You're definitely taking the lead on that one, sir. A word? Yeah, because I don't, I don't know him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I feel that. I'll, I'll kind of feel him out, pause, and then um, go. <laughs> Vic's going to clip this and said, pause part seven. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I'll, I'll kind of just observe him and then ask him questions about what he does, why he got into it, mm -hmm. stuff like that. You know me. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'll, I'll listen to... The story and, and, and the direction, and then after Word. that we go from there. But um, no, yeah, I'm very, uh, I'm very, I'm very interested to to hear what this man has to say. And of course, um, the more we can spread the word on what we do and how and, and the direction we're taking this, it'll help sure. us a lot. For so sure. slow growth is a great growth for us. Don't want it to blow up too fast. And if it happens, does we just have to have a plan for that too? 
So that's all we have to do. But that's nice facts. No, but yeah, that's kind of I'm looking. I'm I'm just looking forward to more interviews, and then I can't wait for the. I can't wait for summer, man. That's when the yeah. floodgates open. But that's bro. what I'm saying. That's why I can't wait for the the dynamic of people just sitting in that living room and yeah. having a conversation. So wait. So now that Easter's over, is season over? Yes. Go the fuck home for five for five months. Everyone go home for only five months. Though. Go home. Go back up north. Go home. <laughs> they gotta do their taxes. <laughs> oh wait, you think they do their taxes here? No, nah, they can't. They what? have to go home to do their taxes. Why? Why does don't they give you the option of did you earn money in another state or some shit like that? They don't do that. No, nah, they just want to go. Home. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. So no, that's that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. I can't. I really cannot wait for the summer and. And what we're doing, and and just decoring, decoring the the living space. Uh, just a lot of good things are coming mm -hmm. up, man. Mm -hmm. So that that is what I'm very excited for. It's about to be changed. And yes, sir. But other than that, I got nothing else. No, nah, nothing else. Yeah. Besides a message to Elon, where the fuck is my Starlink, bro? Exactly. Where's my damn antenna? You literally got all of Southwest Florida. Bro, you know how crazy that was. How we kept talking shit about those hexagons, literally every freaking area around us. And then there's one little empty hexagon, and there we are right there, <laughs> sitting in the middle of that shit. I'm just like, you bitch. There's no way. There's no way. Once we get that hexagon, we better have the fastest fucking, it better be the most. Yeah, especially when he's releasing. HD internet ever. Well, because he's releasing V2 satellites, so it's like, we better have the fastest internet. I better see the literal radio waves going transmitting through. through my eyeballs what the fuck this better increase my thinking speed oh my god that wi-fi better be insane he's gonna be bro. like you don't need Neuralink anymore <laughs> 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 which is oh, beam cancer yeah. dude, from space <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck oh my god oh man yep. that's crazy yeah it literally like you said yeah, once we go live it'll be amazing but again too I, I just really can't wait. Even if we're not live, I can't wait to just have those conversations with Absolutely. the 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 four people in the room, including mm -hmm. you and I. So that's going to be mm -hmm. very interesting. That's going to be fun uh, to do that. Um, but no, man, that that's literally what I'm looking forward to. It's just, I mean, like I said, we already took a couple first steps. Right. Uh, we changed our entire business uh, strategy, and we, like you said, we're buying art to put into the living room to give it more color because you know us as men don't really decorate. Yeah. <laughs> what did what did, what did Skyler say? Yeah, I can tell. It lacks a female's touch. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, like, yeah, before I married Britney, there was nothing in there here. There was nothing in here. <laughs> what? I feel it. Yep. I feel it, man. Yep. Women bring a different... A the, different that, they're the interior designers. Yeah, even bring, if, yeah, even if they're not professionals at it, they're the interior they designers. They bring a different color into your life. Yeah, bro. for sure, man. I agree with that. Like, for me, I'll keep it simple, man. I got one couch, one TV, yep. and that's it. I'm all one right. One microwave. One microwave, one stove, and I'm good. I don't even use the kitchen. <laughs> that's what well, I'm saying. There was a point in time I slept on the floor. Don't even get me started. Like, I can sleep anywhere, motherfucker. I slept in the car, on the floor, on the concrete. Yeah, same. You know what I'm saying? Like, you forgot I was there with you? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You were there. <laughs> But in my mind, I wanted to struggle by myself. Oh, okay. It makes my story more impactful. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I understand. <laughs> oh, man. But so it's like, for me, it's like, bro, I'm not afraid of the bare minimum. Yeah, same. But I don't want to put out the bare minimum. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, I could hit rock bottom and be yeah. absolutely fine. And be absolutely fine. fine. But if we, if we can achieve a, an even higher... Right. A higher thing then we should be we should right. be trying to reach that go for it right but so. well, no i get it man uh final thought word of, what's the what's the word of the day what's the word of the day yeah yeah G give us something wise we didn't do it last week oh, fuck, i just woke up man what? that that's the best time <laughs> i can't think of. come on nigga i can't think of nothing man come on what the heck oh uh, Did you ever realize the shapes on the Squid Games remind you me of PlayStation buttons? They are. Is that is that what that? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um. Yeah. Sorry, sir. I have nothing wise.
turkey if you Come can. on, think about it. Think Give deep. Give me something galactic. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a galactic quote. A galactic quote. Oh. Um, You've seen the observable universe through the wet James Webb telescope. Now think about something and then say it. Maybe we're the aliens. <laughs> Good job, sir. That's all we that need. Was just, that was Guys, that was the most stop, stop. That was the most amazing quote. No, ever. our audience deserves better. <laughs> Audience deserves better. Uh, Shame bro. on me. Uh, what, the what the heck? What the heck? No, I'll 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 put more thought into that. Like if that's gonna be our thing, all right, for sure, I will definitely. Yeah, like. that or we can leave it on the the Spotify because I know you can add add certain things that you want to put on. Oh, there what? Too. Yeah, you oh, can ask the neat. audience certain questions or leave a quote for them to to respond to it. So that's pretty neat. I mean, if you want, if we if we, you want to start doing that, we can. Or we can just keep it video and make it easier and stuff. Do it more. Well, well, I didn't know about that until you told me. So you're gonna actually have to show me. Yeah, yeah, I'll we, show you before show I agree you. to this. Yeah, I'll show you. Because I want to just agree, and it's like, hey, here's more work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you know. I'm so trying to do the bare minimum. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying. I'm I got to, you. I got trying you. Trying to stretch as much as I can. No, I hear you, man. Before I, I gotta. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Be better. All right. But that was that was very sensational, sir. I love that quote. We're going to remember that forever. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to end it off this, though, because we're laughing a lot because we're tired. I'm tired as <laughs> fuck, bro. But, um, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we're on YouTube, One Word Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clip channel and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the page. And, of course, we have timestamps. So you can navigate throughout the uh, video. Leave us a like, uh, subscribe, and don't forget to ring your notification bell. And, of course, leave us a comment if you have any suggestions for something that you want us to talk about or something that we can bring up um, in our next uh, podcast episode. But, guys, again, thank you for joining us at that midnight edition of tabletop topics you guys have a good night weekend evening and or day bye y'all